What's going on YouTube, Champion Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Transformers Siege Classic Animation Voyager Class Megatron. Now, setting the figure off to the side, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Packaging's done very nicely. You got Transformers, more than meets the eye. We got the 35th, lo uh, 35th logo number right there. Um, 1984 to 2019, uh, Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Siege. 1984 special edition Transformers Generations Takara Tomy. On the top of the box here, we got a Decepticon symbol and the Transformers uh, Siege logo. Coming around to the bottom, we just got warnings and stuff. Coming around to the other side of the box, we have a very nice picture of Megatron in his robot mode. Um, that looks really cool. I really do like that. I, I like that a lot. I think that looks really cool. Coming around to the back of the box here, we have a picture of Megatron in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. And uh, just gives some statements, classic animation Megatron, function Decepticon leader, and it says a transforms in 17 steps. And then we've got the 35th anniversary logo right there. So, setting the camera back down. That's it for the packaging. <laughs> uh, now, he does come with a couple of accessories. He comes with his, and I'll get into this later in the transformation, but he comes with his fusion cannon, which is this section of the tank right here. And then he comes with a sword, which is this section of the tank right here. And then he comes with his instruction booklet, which is done in gray, light gray, and purple. Then he comes with a, a warning sheet, just choking hazard, small parts. Um, I don't know if this is becoming standard with all siege figures or not, but... We will see as the line progresses. And here is Megatron in his tank mode. And I really do like this tank mode. I like this figure in general. It's a nice, nice figure. I really do like it. Looks really good. Um, it is a nice, beefy H tank. Um, name H tank given to it by its H-like design. Um, yeah, a very good looking tank mode. I really do like it. It's nice, big, and beefy as a tank should be. Um, coming in to take a closer look at the details, we have some cell shading as this is the classic animation Megatron. It's trying to capture that cartoon-esque feel to the figure. And this figure does do it exceptionally well. I really do like this. Now, I was never able to get the original Siege Megatron. Um, I was never able to get that original figure. So, um, I'm very glad to have this figure um, in place of that figure, in place of the original Siege Megatron. Um, he does have some articulation in this mode. He does make sure my camera's focused. Okay, we're good. The turret does rotate a full 360, which is very, very nice. I really do like that. Um, and yeah, again, a lot of nice molded in detail and whatnot in it. Um, got some, what appear to be headlights. I, I don't know. Got some more, um, detail in there. Um, on the front here, it looks like we got some treads and some exhaust on the side. Some more of that cell shading and whatnot. Um, if we come around to the back here, it looks like we have exhaust ports for, I guess, where the engine would be. Um, yeah, just a very good looking tank mode in general. I really do like it. Now, for size comparison, let's bring in the Siege Optimus Prime. This is the classic animation model as well. Um, and as you can see, I think these... I think these two scale all right. Um, I don't think a truck is that big compared to that H tank. I could be wrong. They do look good together. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of like how these two look side by side. Because um, Optimus is a smaller, a little bit slimmer in truck mode. And Megatron is a big, beefy tank. And I think they just look good together. Sending Optimus off to the side. Let's go ahead and bring in the Loyal Soundwave. This is the Siege... Siege uh, Voyager class Soundwave figure, and as you can see, I, I I personally don't think these two look too terribly great together in terms of size and scaling, because this is supposed to be an air-based vehicle, but um, that's just me, but you can get a sense of scale there, how they look, and yeah. So, moving on to the transformation, it's actually pretty fun and really enjoyable. I, I, I like his transformation. To start off with, we're going to take the front of the tank barrel, remove it, and this will be a sword as I mentioned earlier. Um, we're just going to take these two side pieces here and un, un, untab them, and then rotate them down. And then this peg here will tab into this slot right there. So, these will just tab in. Make sure the front section's tab into place. And here we have Megatron's sword. 
And if you want to, if you really, really want to, you can 110% have a tank with a giant sword on the front. No one's going to judge you. You can do that if you want. But moving back to the uh, moving back to the base figure, this is what he looks like without the barrel. Um, but as I said, the transformation is quite enjoyable. We're going to start back here at the back of the tank, and we're going to untab these sections right here. These will form his legs in robot mode. Come around to the underside of the tank, and there's Megatron right there. Um, and untab these sections right here. Um, after you do that, that will free this hinge right here. And I'll show you this section right here will hinge down and swivel around just like so. And then you can bring this whole section out and fold that panel back up. So do that on this side as well. Fold that up. Then we can take the feet and fold them forward and fold out the heels. And they will tab. They will just sort of, um, they will lock into place on um, the heels lock into place at the back um coming around to the front of the tank now we're just going to take this whole section here and move it forward um it is rather difficult to untab there we go and we're just going to bring this whole section forward then what we're going to do from there is coming around come around to the back of the tank here and untab it just like so now what's cool about the transformation is that megatron's fusion cannon in robot mode is removable but you don't have to remove it for the transformation, which is really nice in my opinion. Um, then we're going to tab these arms into place here. Well, not tab them in all the way. It's just a matter of getting clearance, just like that. Uh, just move this whole section down. And then we can pull Megatron's head out, just like so. And then we're going to take the, come to the back section here. Well, for clearance reasons, we're going to go ahead and tab in the arms, just like so. Then what we're going to do is take this section here, fold it down, and get it past the tank sec uh, tank tread sections here. And then there are there's a tab right there and a tab hole right there, and we're just going to simply tab that into place just like so. And that will form a little backpack. <laughs> then um, for the final few bits of the transformation, we're going to rotate his waist around just like so, and make sure this whole this whole section. Well, it's kind of tricky to get everything right, but you got to bring it back and it will rest flush just like so. You'll know. Um, you'll know when you have it all set together right. Then we can go ahead and fold out his hands just like so. We can rotate his fusion cannon around and then take these sections here and fold them down on the shoulders just like so. After you do all that, get, get him straightened out. Here we have the Siege Classic Animation Megatron in his robot mode. And robot mode looks really, really, really good. The overall aesthetic of the figure is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Just the overall look of the figure is good. I I, I like it. This new Megatron figure is very nice. I really do like it. Now he does retain his cell shading in robot mode. As again, he is trying to. They are trying to capture the um, cartoon um, cartoon look to the figure, um, the cartoon animation look to the figure. But um, as you can see, got some cell shading on the shins there, on the waist and on the chest. You got a nice Decepticon symbol right there. Um, very nice. Coming up to the head sculpt there. Oh, that is definitely, definitely G1 Megatron. Very nice. I really do like it. Um, raise the camera up so I can so show off some of the more some more cell shading on the head. It is very nice head sculpt. I really do like it. The um the overall aesthetic, just the overall look of the figure is very nice. I really do like it. It's it's a very nice figure. If my camera will focus, please. It's very nice. I really do like it. Looks really good. And yeah. Focus. Thank you. There we go. So yeah, articulation for the figure is also really good. Head is on a ball joint. Although one thing I really don't like is that the there this section here, there's nothing it for it to tab into. Um, 
just nothing really it just sort of frictions into place but the head is on a ball joint so you can get them looking left to right although the ball joint's at the very very back of the head which is weird he can look up he can look up a fair distance but he can't really look down all that much although he can't look down um there's a 360 swivel at the shoulder shoulder goes outwards you get a bicep swivel on this arm. It's kind of limited due to the fusion cannon, but the fusion cannon does rotate around. No wrist swivel, unfortunately. Um, on this arm, you do get a 360 rotation, and he does have a port. So depending on which arm you want your fusion cannon on, you can have it on this arm or this arm. It doesn't really matter. He does have a waist rotation, um, full 360 waist rotation. So there is that make sure that back section is tabbed into place um he does have a hinge at the uh, hinge at the hips which allow him to kick forward and backwards he does have a swivel at the thigh full 360 swivel um he does have a bend at the knee and a ankle tilt which is very nice so very uh, a, a good amount of articulation very very well done very well articulated, looks really good, so you can get him in some real menacing poses, as Megatron should be. Um, because, I mean, you know, he's just the leader of the Decepticons, a menacing, you know, he's just evil. He's Megatron, he's evil. That's, that's all there is to it, end of story. Okay? Anyway, bringing the classic animation Optimus into view for comparison... These two, I think, look really good together. I really do like these two side by side. I think they look really nice. Um, j they just look good together. Um, as you can see, they are roughly about the same height, being Voyager, um, which is which is how they should be. In my opinion, Megatron should be just a tad bit taller than Optimus. Um, that's that's just my opinion. Um, so. And let's bring in the uh, his loyal to sound wave. So here he is, um, most loyal sound wave. <laughs> um, now these two, I think, look good together because um, Megatron should be taller than any other of the Decepticons. So um, I, I think these two look good. I, I think they scale well because um, you know I feel like Me I feel like Megatron should rightfully be with Megatron being the leader of the Decepticons he should rightfully be taller than all the other Decepticons that's just that's all there is to it in my opinion <laughs> so there is that um you can if you want to transform his sword and put it back into its tank mode configuration and plug it into his back if you really want to have that gun that gun barrel look that he had in the 1980s you can do that or if this becomes too much of an issue for you the sword blades you can remove those um all together so uh it, it's possible if you want to do it i'm not going to do it on camera because it takes a little bit of fiddling and they're on they're on mushroom pegs so you can do that you can also hold his sword and he looks pretty cool with it um, so yeah, uh, an amazing figure. I'm really impressed. I really like this figure. He looks really good. Um, he's got a, a tremendous amount of articulation, everything you need to pull him off into some, or to pull off some more menacing poses as a Megatron should be posed. Cause like I said, he's the leader of the Decepticons. He's got to look menacing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all there is for this video. Well guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to click like, comment what you think of Megatron in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all from me, Champion Productions, signing off.